the best GPS watch I've ever owned. So we have a hydration partner here at 307 Project because we like to run, we like to get after it, and we have to stay hydrated. This is Hoist, all right? Uh, Hoist is a huge supporter of our U.S. military. Uh, Hoist is made in America. It's battle-tested and warfighter approved. I know that the first time I saw Hoist was in a NEX on our military base there in Virginia Beach. Uh, it's a great product, tastes awesome. Everything about it, we love. It keeps us going. It hydrates you better than other sports drinks out there like Gatorade and all that other bull crap. It has less sugar. It's got everything you need, plus calcium, potassium, and magnesium. Go get you some hoist at drinkhoist.com. Support the companies that support our military, that support 307 Project. It makes a big difference. Thanks, hoist for keeping us going. What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, if I had a quarter for every time somebody has asked me on social media what watch I wear, I'd probably have enough money to buy me a new watch. All right, so we're gonna do a video for you guys that are interested in uh, a good GPS kind of running fitness slash, ad slash adventure watch, all right? now. Uh, something like this, this model that I have right here that we're about to dig into, uh, this could be used in multiple different applications. This could be used for hunters, this could be used for runners, uh, mountain bikers, uh, backpackers, anybody that's going to be out in the elements because this thing gives you a ton of information that actually comes in handy out in the backcountry, okay? Uh, what do I need from a GPS watch? What am I looking for? Me personally, the number one thing that I want out of a GPS watch is battery life. That's the number one thing that I want, okay? Uh, I am not interested in having a watch that tells me I get the, the frosty 5K award for running a 5K uh, in 32 degree weather. I don't need a freaking watch that tells me I just hit my step goal for the day. I don't need a watch that tells me all this freaking bull crap, man. I need a watch that's gonna do the things that are practical, that I need it to do, and that has a long battery life, okay? This one has it. Um, so I want the longest battery life. I want the watch to be able to track me uh, when I'm doing whatever I'm doing out in the backcountry. Not only track my time, my distance, my pace, but also to give me a map screen that shows a snail trail of where I've been in case I need to backtrack, okay? This watch does that. Um, so those are kind of the two, two main features that I'm looking for. Now there are some other ancillary features that we're going to dig into that this watch has. So I'll tell you what it is now. This is, by the way, I have no affiliation with Garmin whatsoever. None. All right. Garmin ain't never gave me jack squat. I think I paid about $700 for this watch right here. This is a Garmin Enduro. Okay. That's the make and model of the watch. Now, we talked about battery life. Why did I go with the Enduro? Because this is a solar assisted watch, okay? So you do have to charge it. It does run off of a battery, but this glass that they put in the Garmin Enduro, and I think many of their other watches uh, actually helps keep the battery fresh or kind of recharge the battery or extend the life because it can actually utilize solar from the sun to uh, help keep the battery going. Um, again, you will, you will have to charge it. This is not a solar powered watch. Uh, it just gives it an extended battery life. Now I said Garmin has many watches that has the solar technology or the solar glass. Well, uh, why does the Enduro have a longer battery life than any of their other watches? It's because in the Enduro, they cut out a bunch of those bull crap features that your soccer mom uh, wants on their GPS watch. They cut out a bunch of that bull crap uh, that's running in the background on the watch and actually extended the battery life. So this is going to be more for your ultra endurance type of athlete or your, your backcountry hunter or somebody that's spending a long time in the backcountry. I love it that they did that. 
another thing about this Enduro, I've had, I've had all the watches, man. I've had all types of Garmin's. I've had the Suntos. I've had many different brands of watches over the years, okay? GPS watches in particular. Many times, the GPS watches are not durable enough for day-to-day -day use. If you're a freaking red-blooded American and you work with your hands and you're wearing this watch day-to-day, -day, what ended up happening for me is I would always end up cracking the screen on the watch, all right? So I would always just have to, if I was day-to-day -day working, I'd have to throw on my old G-Shock, uh, which doesn't have GPS capabilities. And then when I went for a run or went to the backcountry, then I would throw on my GPS watch. I didn't like that. I cracked about, I cracked about four screens on old Garmin models because uh, they just weren't durable enough. This Enduro is not the case. You guys can see on this Enduro, you can see all, I don't know, you might be able to, it's got lots of scratches and scuffs all around this, um, this outer piece of metal right here. Uh, the screen has not cracked. It is just a, it is a durable watch. It's durable enough for me to wear all day long, whether I'm changing the oil in my truck uh, or whether I'm going running or whether I'm building a fence, it's gonna hold up, at least it's held up for me. Uh, while we're on durability, the one thing that has worn out on this Enduro is the watch band, okay? This watch band is actually a nice material. It dries super fast. It doesn't retain water, but you can see it's held closed with these little Velcro strips right here. Um, I have had to replace the watch band. They're super cheap. You can buy a whole pack of them off of Amazon from some third-party manufacturer. I didn't order it from Garmin. This is an aftermarket band. It's the exact same thing, though. Uh, because that Velcro will wear out. Velcro just wears out. That's, that's, the, that's the thing. So let's talk a little bit about what I keep on the front screen of my watch, all right? Obviously, the time of day, all right? I like the time of day, the date, and then I've chosen to have my battery life. We talked about battery life earlier. This is, I just charged this watch. I've got 50 days of battery life on this mode. You can put this thing in a power save mode where you can double or triple that, all right? So 50 days, now that's not GPS life, that's just the watch face, using it as a watch. Um, I've got my altitude right there, all right? And then I've got my sunset or sunrise if the sun's already set. So that's what I want on my home screen. Uh, all those things come in handy for me as I'm running, hunting, whatever it may be. I wanna know sunrise, sunset, altitude, and I wanna know what, what time it is and what battery life I have. So going into this, um, the features of the watch, so I click this big green button right here, which I really like because I like that that is different than all the other watch buttons because uh, this is what the button I probably use the most. Um, let's see, we've got, you can add all kinds of different settings in here. So we've got navigate, expedition, simple tracking feature, Let's go to a trail run feature. Let's see on GPS, let's see, fully charged. Let's see how much, uh, we've got 70 hours. All right, so we have 70 hours of GPS tracking built into this watch. That's unsurpassed, man. Most watches you're gonna get 15, maybe 20 hours uh, running the watch on GPS where it's actually tracking you. So we got 70 hours here. I think we would have even more if we were on the expedition mode. So let's talk about the heart rate monitor on the Enduro. I have started using that here recently uh, and it does seem to be pretty dang accurate, all right? So I'm looking at what the watch tells me my heart rate is based off of my perceived effort. I've been running long enough to generally know what my heart rate or at least generally the range should be based off of how I'm breathing uh, and based off of how I know my body, this heart rate monitor is accurate. So that's another cool feature about the watch. Um, other than that, what do I use a lot? Uh, I use my stopwatch a lot. Stopwatch, easy to access. Just scroll down to clocks and uh, you go into that and you got your stopwatch and everything there. You can change all different types of stuff on here. Uh, you can mark your location super simple um, and it syncs with the app. Now that is the one thing that I probably like least about the Enduro 
is the Garmin, I think it's a Garmin Connect app, okay? So this watch has Bluetooth capability, so that's nice. When my phone rings, it notifies me on the watch or if I get a text message, I actually like that. Uh, but when I go to sync this watch up with the app, it is slow. It's the one thing that I don't like about this watch. I mean, if I've got three or four or five training runs loaded into this thing and I go and try to sync it up, it takes a long time. I'm talking 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it the sync fails and I have to restart the whole thing. Um, so the unit in and of itself is great, but the app that Garmin has paired with these watches, I think could be made a lot better. Um, so last thing we'll talk about, looking at the back of the watch, I haven't showed you guys this yet. That's where it does have the heart rate monitor. Again, I like that. This is your charging port right here. I was a little bit worried about this charging port being on the skin side against your wrist. I was worried that it was gonna get all nasty and gummed up and uh, have to be cleaned, but it has not done that at all. I literally hook my charger up. I don't clean it out, spray it out, clean it off, nothing. I just hook the charger up and it charges. So uh, going on two years with this thing now, and it's been a great piece of equipment. If you guys are looking for a watch for backcountry, uh, hunting, ultra running with good battery life and good durability, this is the best option I know of. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you got something out of this content, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and drop us a comment. We always love hearing back from all of you guys that tune in. Enough said.